What's going on YouTube? Dave here with finally a large enough stack to do another mail day. Um, I really haven't been picking up a ton off of eBay. I've been trying to focus on, on boxes and give you guys more content that way, but had enough going on where um, between redemptions, a couple of eBay pickups and a care package from my buddy Manuel, um, I figured it's time to do a mail day. So first up, this one should be an eBay pickup. And I just thought this card was super cool when I saw it. It's a Fred Taylor card from Elements, 15 to 25 on card auto. Um, Scoop that up for less than 20 bucks, I think. Um, again, super happy for it. Great PC addition and pickup. Uh, those metal cards, they're on card. They look really cool. This one, I believe, is from Panini. It is. And this is an Alvin Kamara. This is number 10 of 25. If you remember from way long ago this spring, probably back in April or so, um, pulled a box of classics and uh, the, the card was really just kind of beat up around here. Sent it in for replacement. They gave me a replacement. A little bummed with it because, you know, it's kind of off the, the edge there and you got the, the typical Kamara, not a complete auto, but at least the card isn't beat up. So Panini got that back to me about four months time. Um, not too shabby, but overall a pretty good card. This one's held its value pretty well. I think this is like a $60 card. So it was worth sending in for sure. Next up, another one from, nope, this one's an eBay pickup. So this is from Immaculate. Picked this up on eBay super cheap, like three bucks. Jake Winicky auto. Uh, again, he's kind of the lesser known guy out of my PC. There's another Winicky card back there. But this kid uh, grew up in my hometown. So that's why I decided to PC him. He was an undrafted free agent. Uh, plays for the Vikes now. Got a little bit of time in preseason game one. Uh, hopefully he can continue making the cuts here. But there's a Winicky auto. The other cool thing about his immaculate cards is he's got a full name on there, which has been tough to find so far. So definitely happy to add that one to the PC. These two, these two are redemptions from Panini. The first is, I didn't get rid of all my Evan Ingrams, uh, but upper echelon on card from plates and patches. Um, pulled this from my plates and patches box. You guys probably saw that. But when I tried to redeem this at Panini, at the um, at the trade up, they said nope. He's already signed it. That one's going out. So that is actually numbered twenty nine and ninety nine. Evan Ingram on card, pretty cool, and the card's in really good shape as well. So happy about that. Nice rookie auto for the tight end. That's going to do a ton of damage this year for the Giants. And then second redemption here. You guys saw me get this just the other month from Brothers and Cards. Uh, the first hit I've ever gotten out of select. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser jersey. Uh, RPA. Numbered 1 and 99. eBay 101. But, uh, yeah, I got the brown patch. Does no good now that he's on the Packers. But, um, you know, I'm not going to complain how quickly that came in. And then next up, or lastly, I should say, is a care package from a buddy Manuel. Um, sold him a few of the team lots. He had also said, hey, I want to send you some stuff actually before he bought anything. So thanks, dude. Appreciate it. You didn't have to send me anything. In fact, originally I told him, no, um, don't send me anything. I'm not going to give him an address. He bought some team lots, so he got it that way. But um, I try not to give out the address. Um, I really don't need care packages. You guys give me a ton of, or I already have a ton of stuff. I don't need anything for free from you guys. Um, just because I, I feel bad getting it. Um, so uh, Manuel writes, what's up Dave's cards 32? Wanted to send a little care package your way to show you my appreciation for the extra Colts inserts and, and the two Colts grab bags I recently purchased from you. Thanks dude, again, appreciate it. Don't have to do this kind of stuff. Um, I've also enclosed a list of cards I need to complete my first rainbow of T.Y. Hilton. Any leads or tips would be greatly appreciated. Again. Cali Colt. So I believe that's his Instagram right there. Um, but looks like he's collecting T.Y. Hilton. And uh, here's what Manuel's looking for. So 2017 Panini Prism, the blue, bronze stars, red power, camo, gold, gold vinyl, and black finite. So going for that uh, 
that T.Y. Hilton won our rainbow collection. So you can reach him at Manuel Juarez at live.com or Calicoat at gmail.com. Um, and I believe, like I said, I think that's his Instagram. I gotta go back and double check. But um, he did give me permission to share this on video. I did reach out to him. He said he's cool. So if you guys got any leads on these, shoot him a, uh, a quick message and let him know. So thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Again, you don't ever have to send me anything. Um, let's see, what brick should we start with? Check this guy out. Uh, super safely packaged. Awesome to see. Got the painter's tape, the filler. Nice job, dude. This is a great packaging job. Oh no, I damaged it. Hopefully that's not assigned to 101 by him. Alrighty. So, first up, we have, all oh, right, we got some Fred Taylor rookies. Sweet. Thanks, dude. Again, don't have to do that, but super cool. So from 98 UD Choice, Fred Taylor. I actually don't have that one. Thanks, man. And then 98 score, Fred Taylor, rookie. Very cool. And that one looks to be in really good shape around the corners too. So it's pretty tough for a card that's 20 years old. Uh, Fred Taylor from Ovation, I think this is what, 2001? Is that right? 99. Yep, had that wrong. I had a lot of ovation back in the day. He top loaded all of these. That's awesome. Uh, from Holographics, Fred Taylor. That one's 99 as well, I think. Yep, 1999. You can see his numbers as a rookie. Pretty beastly. 2000 tops. Yep. And then we also have. Um, upper deck, power deck. Oh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what year this is. This one might be 99 as well. Let's, let's take a look. Nope, 2000. 2000 upper deck. Power deck. Cool. Again, another insider I don't have. So thanks, man. I appreciate the Fred Taylor cards. Again, you didn't have to do, do that at all. Um, let's see what's in brick number two here. And what do we got going on? If I can find the end. There we go. Um, like I said in my previous mail day video, I don't do a ton of mail days. Um, I'm not sure who is or interested in seeing the cards that I'm picking up. But once in a while when I got some redemptions coming in that you guys have seen me pull on my channel, um, I will definitely share those with you guys. So um, I don't do mail days in the regular, but you'll definitely see them in the future. So... First up, we got a Brunel, and this is from Pinnacle, and these used to have like little coins or punch outs in them. This is the 97, yep. I think the back card might be, nope. So this is just a coin with Mark Brunel on it, which is super crazy cool. I thought that went in there, but if I recall, there we go. If I recall, there weren't coins in this, I think there were punch outs, but I could be wrong. I mean, obviously this product's from 97, I don't re remember. Yeah, I don't know, but that'd be really sweet if that was the coin that was right in there. Awesome, man, thank you. Add that to the collection. And then we got some nice base cards here from Metal, Fleer Metal, 96. Just really cool product all around. Um, I would love to go back and open a bunch of this. Problem is, these cards get so sticky, so you, you risk getting a ton of damage, but um, anytime you can pick up singles like this, super cool. Uh, Brunel from Pacific Collection. What is this from? 96, Pacific. Collector's Choice, you crashed the game. Remember, these were like giveaways that you could register for, yeah. And I think you won some sort of sets or something. Cool. 97 Fleer Ultra Brunel. 97 Fleer Brunel. Sweet. You can just add into that, that Brunel PC. Stick it together a little bit here. 97 Pinnacle, I think. Yep. And these are just, these are some really cool older inserts. Um, 
Yeah, the 90s were kind of the junk wax era, right? But you had some sweet inserts back in the day like this. Check out this die cut insert, man. That's really cool. That's in really good shape. 97, Crown Royal. Cool. I think this is 98 Leaf Working Stars. Might be a checklist. Yep. Uh, 96 Omega insert. Ah, 98. I was off. And then Playoff Momentum um, had these awesome acetate cards back in the day. I love these. These just look so cool. And they got that nice shine, and you also got that picture kind of in the background as well. It's all faded out. Um, just really cool cards all around. I know you'll see acetate cards every once in a while uh, in, in things now, but um, that one there is tough to beat. That's a really cool looking card. And then we got 2,000 impacts and 2,000 tops. So, uh, again, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I uh, did not have to do that. No, you never have to send me cards. Um, but, again, Manuel's looking for T.Y. Hilton from 2017 Prism. So, if you can help him out, let him know. Drop a comment down below. I'm sure he'll check this video or shoot him uh, an email there. But with that, that's all I have for Mail Day. appreciate you guys checking it out. As always, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we will catch you next time. See ya.